modern temples. Great temples or cathedrals have been erected throughout the civilized world. Their founders, doubtless, were inspired more or less to emulate Solomon and Herod in their great temples of the past. No fault need be found with these from some standpoint. All the circumstances being equal, it would be a shame for Christians to meet for divine worship under conditions inferior to those of their home. In many instances, however, the people who have donated the money for the erection and upkeep of these buildings have been extremely poor and have been cajoled into the expenses by misleading sophistries. In the days of Jesus and the apostles, it was not considered Christian work to raise money for church purposes. Today, money raising is the ideal work for Jesus. The apostles taught that the real work of the Church of Christ is not to build up costly edifices beyond their means, involving them in death, but to build themselves up in the most holy faith. The temple of God is holy, which temple ye are, if so be that the Spirit of Christ dwell in you. God's people are the living stones under divine supervision, being shaped and polished for places in the glorious spiritual temple. Through that antitypical temple, God will send his blessings, the removal of the curse, and the wiping away of all tears will follow. While using these modern temples, let us not forget that they are not the real temple or church. It is composed of the saints of God, who day by day are seeking to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, in the service of the truth, doing good to all men as they have opportunity, especially to the household of faith. If inclined to criticize our forefathers for building costly cathedrals while neglecting the Bible, let us remember that coming generations may make similar or worse comments on us for building scores of costly dreadnoughts for injury to our fellows. With what shame we will look back upon our own faults. The thought should make us humble.